Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I have Shivani from Shivan's Artistry with me. She's going to give us all the tips about skincare that we need to know. Um, for makeup, right, the most important is actually skincare, which we all don't do skin prep. And today we're going to learn everything about it from Shivani. Hi everyone. So um, I started using skincare. Um, you know. I, I wouldn't say early age but late which I wouldn't advise that but I would when you when you start skincare it's best to start early as, as early as when you reach your puberty so for me personally I use Mary Kay I found uh, Mary Kay like six months ago and it has helped my skin tremendously in terms of uh, it, it really helped my skin to be healthy and I have very very sensitive skin so I'm going to show you all today about uh, how I do my day skincare routine using uh, Skin Vigorate Sonic which is one of my favorite favorite uh, gadget to use. <laughs> Alright guys, so why not fingers and why the brush? So what I love about Skin Vigorate Sonic is basically it comes in three different speeds. It's the on button, so this is low, then we have medium and high all right so this brush if you were to see it doesn't rotate but it vibrates so what it does is basically it deep cleanses your pores especially when you have heavy makeup on or if you have a very heavy or rich skincare which is uh, meant for deep hydration and moisturization so you need gadgets like this to deep cleanse your pore so it doesn't clog your pore using fingertips alone doesn't um, uh, give you a clean surface Sometimes there's residue stuck inside as well. So you will realize when you use brush on one side and when you use your fingers on the other side, you will realize this side is slightly uh, shiny or oily and this side is clean. And we don't want that squeaky clean surface because that's very dry. But this brush, what it does is it helps you to cleanse in the same time it uh, exfoliates gently. That's the Skin Vigorates on it by Mary Kay. I'm going to show you all my day routine from cleansing to toning or softening and then serum and then followed by moisturizer and last but not least SPF. So this is a cleanser I use. It's called Time Wise by Mary Kay. Alright, it's a 4-in-1 cleanser. It's for normal to dry skin and it's dermatology tested. It's suitable for sensitive skin. It's oil free, fragrance free and non commodinate so basically it's a um, four-in-one anti-aging cleanser which helps to repair renew restore moisture as well as maintain that uh, natural beauty of yours so let's get on to it so first thing first uh, i like to measure my skincare using the fingertip unit so when it comes to fingertip unit when it comes to cleanser i only use half of my fingertip that's it all right so it's like this Before cleansing your face, normally I would like to splash water on my face but since we are doing a tutorial, I will just show you a fast one using wet wipes. So first thing first, you can either wet the brush surface or you can splash water on your skin and then start cleansing. So wet surface, take your brush with your cleanser. What you need to do is just press the on button and then you can rotate it on your own circular motion so the best part about skin vigorates on it you don't you don't know when to stop right you can keep going on and on but this brush stops on its own after 60 seconds so that's like the optimal time to cleanse your face which is one minute so all you need to do is rotate so my secret towards using this is five seconds each side like one two three four five and then you move on If you find that when you're while you're using the brush and it gets dry, all you need to do is add a bit of water. It's best to avoid your eye area because your eye area is like the thinnest and it's sensitive. As you can see, the brush has stopped. It's it has stopped vibrating, so 60 seconds is over, so you can stop, wash your face. At this time using a wet wipe. using uh, warm water is fine but the best is cold water uh, why I say warm water is fine not hot is best if you're using makeup and if you want to remove like oil or grime on your face because your pores open up right so in the morning cold water is fine 
as well. So this is like my skin after using the cleanser. So next is the softener. So many people they are confused between softeners and toners. So softeners are basically um, essence or um, a product which softens your skin. Uh, whereas toners are basically uh, a, a, a liquid which contains alcohol, it helps with acne prone skin and it's suitable for dry skin, like very, uh, I mean sorry, not dry skin, oily skin. So it's suitable for oily skin or severe cystic acne skin, um, skin which is prone to um, inflammation, you know, so that, that particular toner helps. But when it comes to softener, it's very gentle, it's like an essence. You don't really need to use a uh, cotton pad, you can even use your hands, you can just pour it, and you can just pat it on your face. So that's the best part about essence or softener. About 20 cents. Actually pour it on your palms and just pat it. It depends on your skin type, like our Asian skin, right, we, we have different types of skin to, uh, skin condition, we have oily skin, dry skin, normal skin, sensitive skin. So people with sensitive skin, uh, you cannot use products with fragrance or uh, any chemicals inside, you just want something gentle, it's best to stick to softeners. If you have acne, if you are, uh, have very oily skin tone, your T-zones are always oily, your, your U-zones are always oily, please use a toner. Why is because that particular toner helps to reduce the oil um, secretion as well as it helps the pimple to calm down. People think that their skin is oily outside but they don't realize that inside is actually very dry. So when you use toner, you are actually making your skin even dry. Then your skin starts getting dehydrated and then pimple starts coming out and because over secretion of oil mm -hmm. is there and that's when the pimple starts coming out and your fingers. <laughs> Keep your fingers away. <laughs> Stick to softener. <laughs> so this is my favorite. It's from Mary Kay. It's called Time Wise Softener. It's a moisture renewing softener. So it doesn't contain fragrance. It's totally suitable for dry to normal skin and sensitive skin. It's non comogenic So what is this word comogenic People keep hearing, right? So comogenic is basically it means it doesn't clog your pores at all. So it stays on the layer and it doesn't go in and clog your pore. It doesn't create any um, new impurities which you don't want on your skin. The, be the best part and the good news about Mary Kay products, everything is non-comogenic, including their cosmetics. Nice, yeah. so you'll never have a clogged pore. Yes, yeah, so you don't have to worry about, uh, oh my god, I use too much makeup and makeup is in my pore and uh, it's so heavy. You will never feel that it's so heavy using Mary Kay products. It's all lightweight, natural beauty. It enhances your own beauty. First, we used a okay. cleanser and then we went with a softener. So now I'm gonna move on to serum. You all will think that you don't have to use serum in the morning, but again, it depends on what kind of serum you use. If you ask me, my personal view, I feel that uh, any serum with vitamin content like vitamin A, uh, vitamin C, vitamin E is best to keep those for the night time. Uh, when you have a serum, like I can show you an example, this is called Serum C from, uh, from Mary Kay. Okay, like this particular serum contains vitamin C content, so it's best to keep it during the night time. It tends to oxidize your the content of the vitamin C. It's not wrong to apply it, but once it touches the light during daytime, it tends to oxidize faster, and there's no purpose wearing it, right? So it's best to stick to serums without vitamin content inside. Mostly you can go for hydrating serum, you can go for moisturizing serum. Like this particular favorite of mine is called Pore Minimizer. Uh, sadly, I have large pores, maybe because of my genes, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, uh, as women, uh, we age, as we age, uh, we tend to see all these uh, aging uh, issues like large signs pores, of yeah, aging. signs of aging, large pores, wrinkles and all that. So basically serum, you, you have to understand it's an additional, addition to your skincare. Your basic skincare is basically cleanser, uh, your, your softener if you want that also is an addition. Your day cream and then your night cream and your SPF. That is your basic skincare and your exfoliator. So products like this, like serum, um, softeners um, and then you have your additional um, 
uh, ampules, those are all supplements, those are all addition to your skincare. Alright, so now we're going to go on to the serum. So this particular serum is also for sensitive skin. It's non-comogenic and it's a pore minimizing serum. So all you need to do again, fingertip unit. I like to put half, like just half. One side is half a fingertip, right? So another side. When it comes to skincare, right? It's best to um, keep minimal contact to your skin because you want your skin to be clean and no bacteria right like so what i would recommend is use three fingers to cleanse so you use three fingers to cleanse if you're going to cleanse with fingers and then to apply your product on your face is best to use two fingers if you're not used to it doesn't matter you can go for it as long your fingers are clean right so this is how you apply you just have to go circular motion Massage it as much as you can so it um, absorbs and penetrates your skin. So if you realize I'm only using two fingers. So you can do this, you can do the pooling technique. This helps with the blood circulation as well. As women, we want our face to look pulled and tight, right? So this is like your natural Botox for you. If you keep doing this every day, right? Um, you actually get a, a, a hang of it. And you will start seeing your sh your face shape starts um, shaping on its own. So that's the serum. So once it has absorbed, how do you know it has absorbed? When your skin starts feeling like it's dry, like that's there's nothing on the surface, then you know it has fully absorbed. So moving on, what I would like to use next daily is my day cream. This is like my ultimate uh, must have in a day. My day cream. This one, so it's called Time Wise as well. I've been using Time Wise for the for the past six seven months already. So it comes in this kind of package. This, so this is the packaging. And if you realize that this particular tube can last me for about three months. Nice. Yeah. So it depends on how you <coughs> use your skincare. That's why the fingertip unit is very important. If you follow the fingertip unit, you will realize that your skincare can last long very long time especially when you realize that some people when they buy a set they'll be like how come it's so tiny how come the packaging is so small and i'm paying so much for it mm -hmm. but actually the secret is in how you use your skincare one small bottle like this can last me for three months i'm not kidding guys this is just my second month okay when it comes to moisturizer right it's like basic skincare you must have moisturizer in your skincare it's like the basic set ever right so when it comes to skincare especially if you have uh, acne prone skin very sensitive skin and all you should go for something which is suitable for your skin to uh, your skin condition especially the easiest you can do is just read the label at the back when it says normal to dry skin it's for normal to dry skin if it's for oily skin it's for oily skin you know and sometimes some people get confused they feel that i think I have oily skin but I don't know so when you think you have oily skin it's best to stick to normal to dry skin first instead of going to jumping into oily skin or um, severe acne kind of uh, skin and all you know you mm -hmm. think you have but you don't know what kind of acne you have what kind of pimples are you having some people it's just a heat rash some people it's a uh, base bit uh, sorry because of their hormones that's why they, they have those pimples. Mm -hmm. You know, some people because they use dirty brushes, makeup lovers, and they start getting pimples coming out and they think that, oh my God, I have oily skin and that's it. I have to go for the oily skin products. No. So if you're confused, stick to normal skin. And then they have different types like creams, gel, they have water-based, or uh, oil-based. Some people, they use oil for their face and all. If you don't know again, um, you can seek help from your dermatologist or beauty consultants like me and we will actually study your skin and advise you based on your lifestyle, um, your diet, um, what kind of makeups do you use and all because all that matters and sometimes uh, this is extra info for you guys like let's say if you use um, cosmetics or skincare which is uh, very oily oil based and then you start using makeup which is also oil based you'll end up looking like a frying pan you don't want to look like that <laughs> so it's best to uh, find 
the suitable skin care for yourself and use the suitable cosmetic as well so it matches and you get a flawless skin at the end tip you need I like to go half so if you can see half just like that in depth one two three so this particular Mary Kay Time Wise uh, Moisturizer is really rich, is very high in hydration. You should not worry if you're working in the aircon or if, if you have, uh, you know, temperature, cold temperature and you are afraid that your skin is going to get dry. Don't worry at all because this is very rich and it's so high in hydration. So it locks moisture and hydration for minimum 8 hours. Alright, so again, I use two fingers to massage it upwards. This is like your basic skincare. Yeah? Everybody should have at least one moisturizer. Why? Is because sometimes when you use your cleanser, it tends to dry your skin surface. Alright? And sometimes you over cleanse your face. So that gets really, really dry. Uh, I don't blame you. In the beginning, I was a noob as well. So um, as you go along with your skincare, you will study your skin on your own. You will discover how your skin works and all. And then you will get a hang out of it so don't worry at all so that's your day cream okay eye cream so basically uh, me personally i don't touch my eye area so this part there's no product at all but if let's say you are in a rush you don't know how to go with the steps right i would recommend you starting uh, skincare from the uh, thinnest consistency to the thickest consistency so basically your cleanser and then followed by your softener which is liquid and then you can actually move on to your eye cream first if you're afraid that you're going to touch your eye area with other products all right if you're not used to face mapping so now i'm going to move on to eye cream this is called uh, time wise repair all right why I love this particular eye cream there's dozens of eye creams out there and uh, why I chose this particularly is because of this tip at the end if you were to see this tip here it has a massage tip so this massage tip really helps to massage your eye area especially if you have sinuses or if you have um, dark circles where you want to massage your eye area you can use this tip so let's get on to it so this is how you use it you just have to squeeze a little bit like that okay and then just dab what you do is you can use this to glide so you just have to glide try to avoid uh, going too close to your water line because that will give you um, a stinging sensation and we don't want that all right so coming to eyes People always ask me about eye bags, like I have eye bags, what do I do, I want to get rid of my eye bags. Sadly, eye bags can only be removed by surgery, not by creams, not by any eye creams, alright, or sometimes it's just in your jeans, okay, but when it comes to dark circle, yes, we can reduce the dark circle, the magic method is sleep early. <laughs> So yeah, sleep early, um, avoid using your phone during bedtime because that actually promotes to dark circle, okay? And then second is you can use eye cream as early as um, when you are a teenager, especially if you are using uh, glasses, you will realize you have a lot of dark circle. So you can use it as early as when you reach your puberty. So now what I am doing to my eyes is basically I am just massaging it with a tube. What you can do is you can also use this part. So this part is slightly painful but it really helps to reduce or remove your sinuses especially in this particular corner. If you were to massage this area, you will re realize that it's actually quite... Um, the sensation is quite nice and it de-stresses you. And then you can move on to your temples. You can just press and then you can come back down. Okay, let's say if you are very busy and you are on the go, you have no time to do this, right? I can give you a tip. One is using your finger again. But only use your ring finger. Why ring finger? Because your ring finger is the softest uh, finger, especially when it comes to touch, right? So it's very gentle. Compared to your index finger, if you were to press, you can control it. But this one is very gentle. So it's perfect for your eyes. All you need to do is just close your eyes and pull you can do this pulling technique right or circular motion 
the parts where we want to focus on is basically here this is where you get your crow's feet so you want to pull this side and then you want to pull from here bring it all the way up here so this is to avoid wrinkles around your eyes right. that's it so if you can see my eyes before it was like dark circles and now it has reduced slightly um, not tremendously because I was naughty I slept late so <laughs> I have my dark circles I like to finish off with my very very personal favorite SPF tell us everything you know about sunscreen <laughs> Um, so, uh, I'm sure many, many, many of you all in Malaysia, especially Asia, don't use sunscreen. That is a big no-no. Why? It's because our country, as you all know, every day the sun is out. There's no one day without the sun, right? So, there's always UVA, UVB rays uh, affecting our skin and we... Um, if you, if you realise that Malaysians, yes, we don't have freckles, but if you were to go under the the, the uh, scanner or anything you will see that you have severe sunburn even though you cannot see it in your naked eyes you have severe sunburn so that's the reason why we as a beauty consultant or any even your doctor your dermatologist will tell you sunblock or sunscreen is very important all right especially for asian skin because we are exposed to sunlight literally every day <laughs> in mary Kay, we have two types of sunscreen one is the physical sunscreen and one is the chemical based sunscreen so what is this two and how do i choose my sunscreen you know people are so confused and it's mind-blowing my favorite is the physical sunscreen it's called honey glow finisher okay why do i use physical sunscreen and who should use physical sunscreen okay people with very sensitive skin uh, as sensitive as you cannot even use a soap base or foam base uh, cleanser to that extent of sensitivity please use physical sunscreen okay if, if you ask me personally i would recommend everybody to use physical sunscreen why is because it doesn't clog your pore that's number one and then number two is it is very gentle it's very mild okay and it works instantly when you put it on your skin it works instantly whereas for physical sunscreen uh, the ones where you buy in the drugstore or pharmacy you know it takes at least 20 minutes to work on your skin so when you apply it on your skin it takes 20 minutes before it activates you have to wait um, second is it clogs your pore it tends to clog your pore and it goes deep into your skin layers and we don't want that because you have you um, got a situation where you applied sunscreen and then you feel extra burn that's one second is you feel that your pores are clogged it's so thick it's so oily you start getting breakouts so that is because it clogs your pore all right and then when it comes to physical uh, sunscreen it's really gentle and mild and if you realize physical sunscreen sometimes comes in a primer form finisher form so it's makeup ready for you just nice it's like a clean canvas for you to just put on your makeup What's the cons about physical sunscreen everything is nice about this guy right so the cons about this sunscreen is you have to be extra rajin okay <laughs> you have to be extra hard working when you touch physical sunscreen on your face when you start sweating or when you get water on your skin when you go out swimming or whatnot it will go off and if you do just do this it will come off and what you need to do you have to reapply so that is physical sunscreen yeah so when it comes to chemical sunscreen it stays on your skin longer it gives you this period where you you will feel confident to just uh, go out longer without it to reapply and all okay but another thing you have to remember it clogs your pore because it's very thick the consistency is very thick okay another tip about sunscreen so i'm going to show you my favorite so this is called honey glow finisher I've been using this sunscreen ever since uh, I started Mary Kay. Physical sunscreen, like for me personally, this is my personal experience. I started off with um, chemical sunscreen and I didn't know, that I thought every sunscreen is the same and sunscreen is sunscreen, right? So when I started off um, with chemical sunscreen where I use for my body as well, I started having breakouts. You know, I started having tiny, tiny bumps and I started having breakouts and my whole face was literally filled with pimples. And I was very sad. I What happened when it, it started breaking out and all, I totally stopped that sunscreen and I went back to my normal basic skincare. That means what I did was I only stick to my cleanser, 
my day cream, night cream and um, uh, SPF which I changed to this particular one, physical sunscreen. So when I started using physical sunscreen, then I realized my, my pimples and my acne, tiny bumps started going down. It started, uh, it wasn't so inflamed. So that was one. And then I continued using this in my skin today. This is how it looks like. So before it was filled with pimples. So then I realized that I was having severe sensitive skin. So I cannot use chemical sunscreen. I would, if you have chemical sunscreen at home, okay, don't throw it away. Don't, uh, it's okay. You don't have to give it away or what. You can use it on your other parts of your body where you find that your skin is thicker, like your knees, your legs, your hands, your elbows. These parts really need sunscreen as well, not only your face, right? So now let's get on to Honey Glow Finisher. Honey Glow Finisher, it comes in this box. If you realize, it's it's quite illuminating, right? It has like a rainbow shade to it. Why is because I'll show you the magic. So this particular finisher, I really love it and it's made in Korea. So it gives you like this finishing uh, glassy look. Alright, so how do you measure sunscreen again? Fingertip unit. If you ask me for your whole face, it's basically like this, like half and half. It's one fingertip unit, but I like to go half and half so you can measure it easier. So it's just like this. If you're not uh, used to using your finger to put your sunscreen, you can also use a blending brush like this, okay, to apply it. But I wouldn't really recommend because actually your brush takes all your products. Finger is better; it doesn't absorb much. Okay. If accidentally you have too much, you feel like oh my god, there's too much. Move down. And the secret to having balanced skin tone with your face and your neck. Is actually to stop your whole set of your skincare at your shoulder blades here like here at your shoulder so you're supposed to cleanse till here so that's when you get like a balanced skin tone from your face neck and your shoulder all right again two fingers I like to use another tip I'm gonna give you all is how do you know or how do you calculate your uh, sunscreen these numbers, you know, these funny, funny numbers in the in front of the bottle, you get like 35 PA and then this is 50. So how do I buy my sunscreen? How do I know how much I need? Do I go for 110? Do I go for 50? Do I go for 35? Sometimes that's 15, right? Take together, yeah? So now I'm going to take 15 times by 35, which is equals to 55, okay? And then divide it by 60. Okay, and you get this so this equals to 8.7 hours so basically this particular sun um, I mean SPF will stay activated on your feet your skin for eight hours what happens after eight hours reapply <laughs> uh, like when she was asking me earlier uh, she's she's a makeup artist and she always has her makeup on what happens when I apply my foundation my face is fully set I'm not gonna reapply my sunblock or my sunscreen right so then I would recommend you to use makeup which contains sunscreen or SPF in it. If you realize Mary Kay, we have our um, sunscreen, uh, CC cream and then even our foundation contains uh, SPF like 15. They have uh, even our primer contains SPF. So all these particular products will help you to maintain and lock that SPF. As you can see, it's fully absorbed and can you can you see the glassy look? So this is after using Honey Glow. It gives you this glowing glassy look effect. The chuk chuk effect, <laughs> that's what the Koreans say. White cast, what is white cast? White cast is the white color which is on your face when you wear sunscreen. And you, you realize that, oh my god, I look like one white ghost now I'm wearing sunscreen. Why? It's because you have not fully applied your sunscreen properly until it absorbs your skin. So when you absorb, this is how your face should look. No white cast, you see? It's fully absorbed. Alright? So white cast is normal uh, for it to be in SPF and sunscreen. No worries at all. As long you know your, the ingredients of your sunscreen and you know it's physical sunscreen and it's suitable for your skin. Alright? People who go for uh, beach vacation, swimming and whatnot, yes, we know that you're not supposed to use sunscreen in the water because it might kill the corals. Um, but, however, I hope and wish that when 
when you finish your activity and why not please 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 apply sunscreen when you're on uh, out of water you know? so sunscreen is very important guys especially asian skin please please actually every skin type must use sunscreen because it really affects us with uva uvb rays um, yes uvc is there as well we need vitamin d but that is just between um, sunrise which is 7 or 6 30 until 9 after 9 it's 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 not nice or it's not good to stay under the sun yeah okay thank you so much Shivani for teaching us everything about skincare so uh, if uh, any of you guys anyone out there uh, doesn't matter if you're a guy girl you know doesn't matter um, no judgments here you can uh, either call me I'll link the link is in the description and then or you can zoom call me or we can actually meet personally no problem at all I can come and meet you guys and uh, don't worry consultation is totally free you can ask me anything and everything I'm ready to answer your questions um, and then we can actually have a sample date out so we can I can bring samples you can try samples if you are into makeup and cosmetics you can feel free to play with all my makeups and you can also check out my page which is called Shivan Artistry. I'm also on Instagram I'm also on Facebook and uh, you can call me up anytime text me on whatsapp no problem at all I'm uh, totally free my time is yours so come and contact me soon <laughs> DM me